<gasps> Radical! Today on Radical Toys, we're going to be taking a look at Masters of the WWE, Kane, Demonic Red Machine. That's right, guys. We're going to be going over this new wave. I picked them up. I get the whole set. We're going to get to them as we can. We did the Ultimate Warrior. Now we're going to do Kane. And, of course, he comes on that standard blister package. Um, the nice art at the top. And, uh, of course, you get all the figures on the back in Wave 6. I haven't seen Wave 5 yet. They haven't been here in Canada. At least not that I've seen yet. Maybe they'll show up. I don't know. Um, but we do have Wave 6. And I love how these figures have the... Um, collaboration with the Masters of the Universe, Origins, and Classics. You see some of those accessories that work with these figures. It's such a brilliant idea that Mattel came up with. It's just pure genius. I absolutely love it. And um, Ultimate Warrior is my favorite in this in this wave. Uh, excited to have these. And uh, so we're going to take him out of the package. We're going to go over all the articulation and all that fun stuff. We're going to have some fun. Stay tuned, guys, because I'll be right back. And we're just going to take a second, guys, to uh, go over the uh, mini-comic here. Yeah, there's nothing uh, too different about it, but it he does. they do have, uh, these waves do have their own mini-comics, but it's literally just one page, um, front and back, basically, and in the inside. So, of course, we've got, you know, Kane, and uh, I believe that's the Undertaker on the front. And I can't remember her name. Is it Stephanie? I'm not really sure her name. Yeah, Stephanie. So she's on there. And, of course, you got Kane, Goldberg, Stephanie, and Ultimate Warrior on the back. And, of course, they have the uh, bio. And, of course, they have the word bubbles. So, this is definitely the USA release um, that we managed to snag here. I don't know how we managed to do that because we usually get the international ones. But we did get we, we did get the, the uh, USA version, which is cool because we get the words. So, I mean, they're okay. It's a nice touch that they give us these. It's not necessary, but I don't mind them. It's it's cool either way. I can take it or leave it. So that's basically the comic. And we're back, taking a look here at Kane from the Masters of the Universe WWE. He looks pretty sharp getting him out of the package. I like his colors. He's got that nice, uh, deep, dark, blood, bloodish type red, but a little bit more vibrant than that. And of course, he's got the black on his uh, mask. He's got the nice painted orange eyes up in the front. And, um, he's mostly molded in a black plastic for his legs, hands, and accessories, of course, and, uh, red as well. So, it's hard to tell which is the paint. I think it's the black is the paint, and then the mold is the actual red, from what I can see. So, it looks pretty cool. And you can kind of see all those details. And, of course, he shares those, uh, Roboto's boots. And I believe it's Roboto's, and I also believe it might be Trap Jaws. I'd have to look, but I think it is. And, of course, we've got, uh, you know, all those, uh, the, the shared arms from uh, Roboto. He's got those as well. And I love the actual face sculpt here. It just looks so cool. I absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, it's got, it comes down and it starts solid and it goes translucent down at the bottom into a light brown. So that's pretty cool. I actually like this character a lot. Um, and he actually just comes with... Um, Three accessories, if you count this gun cannon that is removable, if you want to count that. Um, we'll go over the accessories here in a second. I just want to do the articulation. We'll get that down, done and over with. It's pretty much standard, as you would see in um, the Masters of the Universe Origins line. You know, it's a lot of the same parts. So his head can rotate all the way around. But for some reason, my head kind of came loose. I don't know why, but it just doesn't have that popping sound that you usually get. And it doesn't like to stay on very well. Like, it doesn't basically snap. It'll stay, but it won't snap on. But it's probably just mine. It might be just an error. But it's minor. It's not that big of a deal. Because it does stay on. And, of course, you got his arms. They can go forwards, backwards. They can hinge at the joint. And, of course, where you can remove the gun, you can actually turn that around. 360. 360 in the waist. Same idea. Knees, knee hinge so it can go forwards and backwards and and uh, the boot cut can go swivel all the way around where that 
can be uh, taken apart as well. Um, I can just show you in case I haven't showed you on my other videos. I can't remember. They're a little tough to get out though, guys. But here we go. There's the boot cut. And you can just, you know, pull them apart. Pull them apart the waist too if you want. They're all the same standard. And pretty much most of us know this by now. That they're all standard that way. You can pull the arms, legs. So it's pretty sharp. And, yeah, so that's basically Kane there's articulation. And he does come with, um, like I said, three accessories, if you count the gun cannon. So the other two gun accessories that he has, he comes with this uh, nice translucent um, uh, muzzle blast, I guess you would call it. That's kind of what I call it, or fire blast, whichever you want to call it. Uh, and it fits on to the... Um, gun cannon actually here real nicely we can kind of put that on there you can see it just fits on there perfectly fine and you'll see it in the photos later on too it did some poses here um ahead of time so you guys can kind of see that as well and uh you know see what that looks like and of course he's got his um claw accessory so basically it's the same as um robotos same idea plain uh black plastic mold but I actually I absolutely like it um like I said before I don't necessarily need to have paint on my uh, action figures I actually like them plain like this I actually prefer it but that's just my preference you might be different and um that's pretty much it for him but I will do a little comparison for you guys here let me get him stand stand it up here and there he is and we're gonna bring in Roboto from Wave 3. So I do have Roboto, and as you can see, a lot of the parts are the same. So the legs are basically the same, the, the shin and um, the foot. And of course, the arms are the exact same. And of course, the accessories are as well. And I'll show you the comparison to the accessories. So you guys can see this. It's basically the reused sculpt. Just one's black, one's gray. Same, absolute same deal. Not really any difference there. It's pretty cool. And of course the claw as well. Um, I don't have Roboto's claw out right at the moment, but it is the exact same um, claw sculpt. It's uh, black and gray. Same, same idea. And if you're wondering, you can swap these parts. So you can take um, Kane's gun, put it in with Roboto if you want to, if you want to pose him like that. It's kind of neat. And, of course, you can do the same with Kane. I'll put the gun in there. You can put it in there. And it works absolutely fine. So, I'm very happy to get this wave. I actually really like this wave a lot. What do you guys think? Do you think Wave 6 is okay? I like Ultimate Warrior, and I like Kane in this wave. Um, the other two, not so much, but they're okay. I'm still happy, uh, you know, to get them, of course. But I really wish we could have gotten Wave 5. Wave 5 is the wave that I would really want. Because I would like to have that Macho Man and that Dragon Blaster. Um, I can't remember the wrestler's name. You guys are going to have to help me out. I can't remember his name now. But uh, he wears the uh, Dragon Blaster armor. Or not the Dragon Blaster armor, but the Dragon Blaster dragon on, on his back. So that's kind of cool. I actually really like that. And uh, so yeah, maybe we'll get those. Hopefully they'll come in here in Canada. I haven't seen them. I don't think anyone else has. We pretty much got Wave 6, and it was unexpected. It was unannounced. I just, I went into Walmart. There they were. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, where's where Wave 5? So, they didn't show up. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that's okay. So, anyway. And there you have it, guys. That's the um, Masters of the WWE, Kane. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And I've got more videos coming. I've got a few more that I got to do. I'm going to try to finish off this wave. And then we'll move on to something else. And um, so if you like the video, just give it a like. Yeah, it helps out the channel. I'll bring out some more content. That'd be great. And if you haven't subscribed, well, think about that as well. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. And uh, Radical Toys, out.